hello and welcome to this uh, tutorial so in this video we'll see how to create a simple react form using uh, material ui this is something that we're using material react ui tools and we'll be using xjs framework we'll be using typescript uh, for this particular project so i already have created a basic boilerplate code for our, for our video so can simply type in this command like npx create next app latest minus minus ts file to create a next js project uh, with typescript enabled so once you have done this thing you just need to install our uh, mui react uh, mui material ui uh, packages and all so you can use this command like npm install uh, material emotions and all so once you have all these things up and running we i, I already created a basic structure of the application so this is how it looks we have our first name last name email and password and a button to submit this form so inside here you can see the the of structure so here basically what we have is like we have one page in this page that's the default page that i got while creating this application so <clears throat> in addition to that thing i added a components folder inside our pages and i added one component called signup.tsx and I'm calling that particular component uh, in our index.ts file here, sign up. So if we have a look at the sign up.tsx file. It's, it's right now it simply has the HTML for this thing. So I have imported a couple of components from our material UI buttons, text fields, uh, checkbox, grid, etc. etc. So uh, basically, if you see, we have created a container and inside we have a box that's acting as a container on this particular form and using the grid component we have created a structure uh, like this kind of a structure inside a grid container we have grid items for each of the text fields like here we have the first name and then the and the second name uh, similarly the other other fields also are in the grid items like one two three like the, the all these structures are the grid items that we have so when you run this thing you, know, you have the basic uh, react uh, form with the material UI components and all. So here is how it looks. Now let's see how you can make this form functional. Uh, for making this form functional, we will be making use of something called uh, React hook forms. So it's a hook that we can attach uh, to our forms now. I guess the use form hook. So in order to use this uh, React hook form, what you need to do is you need to install it first. So let's install this thing. And I'll do npm install react hook form. So once this is installed, we can use it inside our application and make it work along with the forms and all. Now, once that is installed, uh, we can put it here. Const register. I'm use from quoted probably. So let's see, can be quoted from uh, React Web Forms. Similarly, you need to import uh, submit also handle submit property. Now, once you have uh, imported these two things, register and handle submit, you need to add registers to your input components. So that uh, the values can be registered. So I'll use this thing. So for the thing to work you need to go to your components like here it's the first name so we need to register this thing so i think we don't okay for that you yeah so and you just give it a name name is first name okay it's chosen it's uh so it's very more than so we don't need the name here it's probably once we are registering the name gets automatically registered here so that causes a duplicate there so i just remove that thing from here so similarly the way we did register to first name similarly we need to do that thing for last name also for last name just modify this thing to name i'll add the same thing to email address password
password. Yeah. Now the other thing that we need to do is we need to it's a submit button, so it will be doing a form submit. Once the form is submitted, we need to attach um uh, this handle submit to a particular method. So I'll just define a method that needs to be invoked once form is submitted. So handle form submit. So this will get the form data here. I just try to log the values to see what the form data is. So pull dot log data is form data. Okay. Now we need to add the handle submit to our box property. So here it's the form. So I'll just add here for non submit. Uh, non submit. instead of passing it directly to our handle thing so we'll pass it to handle submit and inside we'll pass handle form submit okay. i'll just save this thing and run our application Now if you see, we'll just try to uh, submit the form here. Yeah, I'll just I'll just input the values here. So added the field values. Now I will just submit the form. And submitting as you can see i can get the form data whatever form data we input this particular variable that's how we can use form data for this thing and we can capture the form data from here using the use form hook so that's it for this particular video so i hope you like the video and the next part we'll see how to handle validations or like how to show validation errors in this particular form so see you in the next video thanks for watching